Hi, my name is Hitesh and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. Below is my web homepage where you can access details about the courses, upcoming courses, already having the courses and a lots of details about me including the contact form. I would be really happy to see your email in my inbox whether it's a simple hello, voila or thank you. I would be really happy with that. So in this video we are going to talk a little bit more about the lesson one SQL injection that is with the help of OR and AND statements. Yes, I know that I promised in the last video that we are going to explore the new lesson that is lesson number three, but I really want to make this series in a very, very depth manner and I forgot a couple of more methods by which you can inject in the lesson one types of injections. So let's discuss them and try to find out what are the problems in it and what you can actually make out with that. So let me go back to our virtual machine. Here it is and we have got lots of commands already running that's just starting my Apache, starting my SQL and running my Firefox. Quite a simple one and I have already moved into the localhost master lesson one as in the previous videos we have discussed. So let me apply a question mark ID equals to one here. Break the query. We have already discussed quite a lot of things about breaking them and after that fixing them. But what we haven't discussed that, we can fix it in one more manner. Yes, I know by applying a hash sign, which is going to be included in the uh, not being working in the hash mode, actually, you have to give an equivalent URL that is percent %23. It's going to work in that manner as well. But what you can simply do, you can also do it like with the OR and END statement. Like for example, you can also put OR, single quote and one. So that is also going to fix the things for us. And you can also proceed with like that. Now, some of you might be asking, hey, Tesh, what is the difference between? The difference is simply in that case, we are breaking the query and we are fixing that. In, the, in this case, we are breaking the query and we are balancing out the codes. So I really like to have that hyphen, hyphen and plus sign option. But what you can do? Now the next question some of you might be experienced programmer might be asking, hey Tesh, it's not actually a or one, it's all the time is acts it's like this, uh, one equals single quote one. So that is actually the true statement. But really both the things are fine since it's a Boolean value. So one equals to one is also going to give you a result of one and you can also place it just like as simple single quote one. That doesn't make any difference out here. So how to inject in this case? In this case, we have got a small problem that is first of all, order by one. Okay, and if I do order by four, okay, nothing is here. Order by let's say 400, nothing is here. So what we conclude from this part is that order by is not going to work. So what we have to do in order to proceed is union all select and let's say one, is it working? No, error, those are my favorite errors two again not working let's say three fixed and if i proceed to four okay so error so in that case we can conclude that three is going to work for us and we are going to we can inject via the three now in order to get the number on the screen that is most vulnerable column you can say you have to read out with this query let's apply a minus sign i have discussed quite a uh, in detail that minus is not necessary, you just have to eradicate the first part, you can do it by applying uh, lots of huge number actually. So two and one. Now it's time to verify that is two and one are the same two and one here. So in place of two, let me put a five just to verify. Okay, the number changes five, that means it's the right. And in place of one, if I do, uh, let's say two, it's not working. So where is this actually one coming from? When I see again URL, I see two ones. One is this and one is this. If I change it to two, of course, it's not going to value much of the things as it doesn't change. But here we have got one more one. So this might be this one. Let's apply a zero here and verify it. And Okay, so it's not coming from this part. Let me again put it one. So or is actually giving its one. Let me put an and here to just uh, show you what I was talking about. So here it is, zero, because in and case you can actually get a zero. Uh, and in the one, and here it is one. It's just a one or one, one, and it's quite a simple maths. I hope you don't get confused in it. Not a much to be in, talk about detail. Okay, so important point is here that we have got only one place by which we can inject, that is this place at which number five is written. 
and we have got only one place so let us try to inject it with database uh, database name here it is and I want a version as well so I can proceed at the rate at the rate version or I can simply do version and function it's the same thing now next what I can do I can go with table underscore name and after three I can write from information underscore schema dot tables where table underscore name oops table underscore schema equals to database okay so email is out there you can also put a group concat here and as I discussed really next time I would remember my words that I promised that next time I'll be keeping all these things in a separate notepad so that you don't have to watch me typing out here and making some mistakes in my typo so definitely I'm going to keep my promise in the next video but a small task for you proceed in the lesson one by the same types of method that I have done here and really enjoy while elaborating like lots of things like what happen if I don't put a single quote here is it going to work in that way and how to balance out the quotes and query what happen if I put a double quote out here is it going to work or not explore yourself enumerate yourself and definitely I'll be with you to elaborate a lots of details so that's all for this video and Finally, let's move on to lesson number three. Thank you so much for watching.